Welcome to the new YouTube channel. If you haven't already done it, hit the subscribe button to follow us all season long for updates and content. So happy that you're here. It's going to be a great year. Welcome back to the Richard Sherman podcast. We got a very special guest, one of the best corners in the National Football League right now and in the history of the National Football League. Stephon Gilmore, appreciate you joining me, brother. I appreciate you for having me, bro. Bro, I, like I was just telling you, I was at the Eagles Seahawks game. And I don't know. I do not know. Yeah. <laughs> De- defensively, they they got something off offensively. It looked like they were scared to put the ball in Jalen's hands and just let it go. You know, they didn't start throwing it deep and taking shots till the end. Uh, how you think, how you feeling though? I think um I think it was a good game. I watched every every part of that game. Uh obviously, you know, it's hard to play in Seattle. Uh yeah. those fans get going. You know, Pete Carroll, you get those guys playing extremely hard, you know, so in Philly, you know, they they trying to – I think they lost three in a row, four in a row. They were trying to get their mojo back. So, uh, you know, we kind of needed them to lose uh, so we can get back on the right track and get going ourselves. Yeah, and they did it. Y'all back where y'all needed to be. They they gave y'all <laughs> mulligan for sure. Exactly. Uh, last week they said a lot of y'all had the stomach bug. You know, was they sabotaged y'all in Buffalo? What they got going? <laughs> Man, I don't know. What. It was – uh Early in the right after, I feel like right after the Philly game, I had like the flu. I had like a one one oh three fever. Oh, and Brandon got it, and then you know a couple of people on the team had it. So we was just we was hurting, you know. But I think we got back healthy at the right time, like later on in the weekend. Um, was able to play in the game Sunday, but you know, uh, you know, as you know, the flu ain't no joke. Not joke at all. Yeah. Not a joke at all. It's that time of the year. I mean, that's what they say in Jalen had. I mean, a couple of the Seahawks, hey, it seems like everybody getting it. At least y'all in the middle of the country. Because y'all <laughs> ain't got to take no six-hour flights nowhere. It's like three yeah. here, you know what I mean? Two that way. Yeah. Now nah, it's that's love. Uh, like you say, Dallas is love. You know, it's a great place to be. You can get anywhere. Uh, the family love it. So uh, it's, it's a good spot. Talk about talk about you getting there and and the journey to to get to Dallas because obviously you were with Indy and you know Dallas comes and trades for you you get to play for Dan Quinn uh, tell me walk me through that process. Uh, last year in Indy, I just kind of sat down with my family and uh, just like man, I want to. I'm getting older. I'm going to year twelve. I want to go somewhere where you know great for the family to live in. And somewhere that we I can end it and we can have a shot for the end goal and that's getting to the Super Bowl. So and I feel like Dallas, you know, was a, a great spot to be. Um had already already had a great team. Uh just needed someone like myself to come in and just give it an extra boost. So um talk to guys like you, you know, under like Dan Quinn, uh played with him and you know, said great things about him. And I already, you know, was cool with Trayvon and uh, a couple of Michael and a couple of guys on the team that was that was already I was cool with. So it was like a no brainer for me. Did it, did I lie to you? How's DQ? Nah. <laughs> nah, DQ man, he's so cool, man. He he positive all the time, man. He's uh, I see why guys play extremely hard for him, and I just like how you just let guys just play. You know, it's you already got to think much, just play. And, and get the job done. I mean, it, it, and DQ has been great, been great. I got, you know, nothing but respect and regard for him. But talk about Al Harris, too, because Al's had a, a, a huge impact, it seems like, on that secondary and, and uh, everything you guys have been able to do. Yeah, Al, he's been great. I mean, he's, uh, I mean, year 12, and he done taught me stuff that I ain't really know uh, as far as coming in here. And uh, he's just, you know, he always getting you to try to make plays on the ball. You know, he's not really coaching scheme. Uh, he wants you to make plays, and uh, and he's big on reading three step. He's big on getting your reads on three step and uh, and pedaling and things like that. So uh, he's helped me out a lot, especially in off coverage. Um, you know, me, I like to get up there and, and get hands on and run with. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you know, when they get us in them tight splits. 
you know, we, we already, we already like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so but he, he helped me out tremendously, you know, getting my reads and three step, trying to get a beat on the ball. So, uh, he's a great coach. I think, uh, he helped like even, um, Deron, Bland, Traymond develop into some great corners. And, um, you know, he's played the game for a long time. So it's kind of easy for him to explain things a little bit. So uh, he's been a, he's been a great coach. And, yeah, I think he's one of the best secondary coaches in the league for sure. No question. No question. That's what it appears. I mean, ever since he's come there, Trevon has had career years. Deron leading the league in picks. I mean, you've been defensive player of the year. You've been who you are. So, you know, you yeah. know, there's only so much he could do for you. But I'm sure, yeah. like you just said, he helped get you better. Talk about how your role changed from what you thought it would be once Trayvon went out. Oh, yeah, for sure. He, uh, me and Trey was, obviously, we came in, like, go play left and right. We used to go lock whoever coming outside down. And, uh, you know, when he went down, I think he went down in practice during the one-on-ones. You know, he's very competitive. He's, uh, he took, like, three, four reps in a row mm. and just, and just, you know, he didn't come out. He's the guy that go in and one on ones and just take. Okay, he got this guy this this the first time. He got got to take. Like he don't want nobody to get no reps. Sheesh. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. And you know, he came down. But um, my role has really changed after that. Really, just really taking on that leadership role. Just trying to uh, be that number one guy. Come in and uh, you know make more impactful plays because you know before they could. I think they would go out. They had to pick one side to go to. And um, I think early the first game, they kind of came at me a little bit. And I, I made them pay. I had a pick and had a couple of pass breakups. But, you know, uh, my role has definitely changed a lot. And um, just trying to get even the young guys ready each week, you know, just trying to get them to have a short-term memory, reset each week, try to prove yourself each week. So it definitely changed a lot. NFL fans, it's time to unwrap nonstop football action. This holiday season, throw down on big matchups with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. This week, new customers can bet just 5 bucks on the NFL and score 150 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook now with code Richard. New customers can bet just $5 on NFL action to score 150 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Richard. The crown is yours. Okay, football season is finally here. And here's one thing every fan should know. You can get anything you need for game day delivered with Uber Eats. Well, almost, almost anything. Because no, you can't get your dream running back for your fantasy team delivered with Uber Eats. But flapjacks, baby back ribs, and a cold six pack? Yeah, you can definitely get those. Great pass protection? That's a no. Great pizza selection from your favorite places? Yes. Championship defense? No. Deodorant? Yep. A well-executed fake punt? No. Delicious fresh produce? Yes. Game-clinching turnovers? No. But pastry turnovers? You know the kind with delicious apple filling? Oh, yeah. Because that's groceries. And get those delivered with Uber Eats, too. Along with food from your favorite restaurants and other essentials. And the best part? You can get it all without missing a second of action on your TV. So this football season, stay planted on your couch and get anything, well, almost, almost anything you need for game day by ordering on the Uber Eats app. Uber Eats, the official on-demand delivery partner of the NFL. Order now. Alcohol in selected markets. Product availability may vary by region. See app for details. Bro, I, I feel like it's 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 crazy because they always say this old. They're like, oh, he's old. He's old. Like, like, bro, what does the tape say? What does the tape say? Yeah. And it started when when you guys were in Dallas playing uh, DK Metcalf and the Seahawks and Deron was uh, struggling a bit in the first half. Uh, and you took the opportunity upon yourself or your conversations with Al and, and DQ and you went and did what you've done majority of your career. And you went and got the number one receiver. And and you cut the water off for the rest of the game. I don't know if DQ, I don't know if DK had another catch in that game. I think they targeted him once, and and he almost pulled you down because you look like you you lined that one up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but then, then then you get the next game. I think y'all got Philly, 
and they say AJ called you old. I say, oh, all right now, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Talk me, talk me through that because I say it's on certain people you just let leave alone. Yeah, I think uh, like you yeah, as you know, like they say you old, but just turn the tape on. I'm still running with guys. I'm still covering guys, no matter who it is. Um, and I think that was just a great opportunity for me to be on get on deck DK and you know limit uh, really shut them down in the second half and uh, and then the following week I said this is a great opportunity for me to line up on AJ you know and show the world you know that I still got it that I mean he's supposed to be one of the top guys in the league so you know if I if I play great against him then what you going to say now so um, and I was just ready for that moment. You know, been ready for that moment my whole career, just playing against top guys. And uh, that's what I do. I've been doing it uh, my whole life, and I embrace it. And it just gets me going. Sometimes I get bored on one side because they can kind of go away from you. And But, when you know, when you're covering the best guy, you're going to get the action. And, and and I embrace that moment each and every week. And, and it looks like it. And you look like you take pride in it. Uh, Michael Parsons went out of his way to give you a lot of praise about teaching him how to be a pro and teaching him how to watch film and just teaching him consistency and your effort and your routine. Uh, talk about your relationship with him. Uh, it's great. He's, uh, he's very, uh, Mike is, he's gifted, you know, he's, he's super gifted, but I think he got so much more room to grow. I think he, he, uh, you know, take things, you know, a little bit more serious as far as like his diet, you know, and, um, uh, Little put put little things into his uh, weight room routine and things like that. You know, uh, he's already probably one of the greatest, youngest players ever to play the game. But I think just trying to teach him the little things like as far as film study, you know, taking the weight room um, extra serious just to give him that extra um, boost. Because like I said before, he's, he's special, man. I, I don't think I ever seen nothing like him while I've been playing. You know, he's he's a special player. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 every time they put two on him, three on him, he's still finding a way. I mean, I saw him go on a – it, it was a two-man rush, and he got a sack. I said, y'all need to be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> it's crazy because he uh, even – I, I swear in training camp, uh, just going against the offense, he just wrecked the whole practice. You know, it's, he's a special player. I just, um, you know, hope he can, you know, just stay hungry and, and get better throughout his career. Dak, Dak has been on a tear. Obviously, he struggled uh, this last week against Buffalo, but before then, he had been on a tear, leading the league in, in a lot of categories, you know, completion percentage he's up there, touchdowns, yards. Talk about how he's looked throughout the season to you and, and, and you know, because you've obviously been an opponent, but you've never been his teammate. And talk about how he is as a teammate. I think he's uh, he's a great teammate. Um, you know, he's – He's funny. You know, he, he talked to all his teammates. Um, I think this year he's just playing with a lot of confidence. That's one thing that really stick out to me with him. He just, he's letting it fly. You know, he's not thinking. Um, you know, CD's having a great year. Um, Ferg is having a great year. I think the offensive line is, is blocking pretty well. And, uh, you know, brought my boy Brandon Cooks, he's coming along also, helping him, helping him out too. So I think uh, he just, He's just letting it sling, you know, and um, and it's fun to watch, you know, because, uh, you know, he gets a lot of, you know, stuff thrown at him each week. And he's just going out there and improving it um, each and every week. And I think, uh, you know, he just got to, you know, it's getting that time of the year where we got to, you know, we got to really step up and start playing our best football at this time of the year. No question. No question. That's what it's going to come down to. CD, obviously. You know, on this, on this show with Undisputed with Skip, you got to argue every day. And he was sitting there talking <laughs> about CD. And I said he was a fringe one because at the time he was, I think he was getting 50 yards a game or so. And then ever since then, that man <laughs> had been on a tear. I, said, I, I think you, I think you, uh, you got him right. <laughs> right? Woke yeah. him up, Gilly. Yeah. That boy getting 12 targets a game, eating yeah. every week, 150, 190, 180. Yeah. I said, goodness. <laughs> Uh, talk about his game because he he seemed like he, he, well he's found his niche he's found his role he's found his his space but he and Dex connection is just crazy right now. 
Yeah, it's it's crazy because I, I played against him last year, but he was mostly in the slot. Um, but I didn't know he was that good until I actually was on the team with him. Um, just seeing how he moved, you know, how elusive he is in his routes. Um, and, and I think with him and Dak's connection, it's making him even more better. And I think uh, this year he's really taking on that that role where he want to be great, you know, and I don't know last year, I think he did want to be great, but I think this year he, he wants the ball. Um, he want to impact the game in a positive way, each and every play. And um, he's showing that. And I think uh, for sure he's the number one receiver and he's proven that each and every week. No, he's dead. He's dang sure proving it this, this year. He's, he, he didn't prove it week after week after week. He yeah. said, Hey, you got it. Yeah. He's a, uh, he, he's bigger. He got great hands. Um, he's uh, he's he can go outside, inside. He's very like I say. His release game is is is, is nice. You know, that's one yeah. thing that stick out to to me with him. And um, like I say, he embraced. He he want the ball every. <laughs> you, you want those guys on your team. So right. um, he's he's been a great player this year. Uh, talk about because you've been you've been with the Patriots. You were with Buffalo to start your career. Uh, mm -hmm. You were with the Colts last year. In terms of an organization, it seems like the Dallas Cowboys do everything pretty first class. You know, is this one of the best organizations you've been a part of? For sure. I mean, it's a top notch organization in the world. You know, uh, they do everything first class. Uh, you know, it's great fans. The stadium is crazy. It's always packed out. I don't think we, we lost at home. Uh, <laughs> that's for a reason. Uh, it's a great place, you know. Uh, obviously, being in New England was a, a great place, too. Um, just up there with it. And, you know, it's everybody loves the Cowboys. You either love them or hate them. Uh, right. so, and there's a lot of people that love them. So uh, it's a great organization, for sure. Has there ever been a time you've been injured in an accident and not only were you in physical pain, but there were stress, headaches, and problems that followed? Do you wish you had hired an attorney? If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Playing corner in the NFL is hard. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is easy. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm with over 100 offices nationwide and more than 800 lawyers. With over $15 billion recovered for over 300,000 clients, Morgan & Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. Morgan & Morgan has been fighting for the people for over 35 years. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is so easy. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless you win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash Sherman or dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. That's forthepeople.com forward slash Sherman or pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell phone. This is a paid advertisement. Well, you're one of the few players, one of the few corners for sure, that have ever won defensive player of the year. And you did it with a, with a fantastic season. What are you thinking of Deron Bland? Obviously, things have kind of shifted a little bit this season for him, but still leading the league in interceptions, broken mm -hmm. record for pick sixes. Seems like, I mean, a, a up and coming like breakout player. Uh, and his yeah. technique is sound. Like it, the way he's breaking on these outs, the way he broke on the out in the game in Seattle, I mean, versus Seattle and Dallas. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, he stemmed him, went with the stem, broke it, took it. I said, yeah. goodness, teach yeah. yeah. He's a, uh, he's super quiet. Um, super quiet. He's focused. He's, uh, you know, he's, even kill, he never get too high, never get too low. And I think he's uh he wants it. You know, he for a young player like him, only in his second year, um, he act like he in year five or six, you know, and and it really shows on the way he plays. I think I don't know if people know, but I think he went to Sac State when he came out. Um, no offers. Uh and then, you know, went to Fresno uh for one year. Had an okay season, you know, going to fifth round. You know, he always had to, you know, grind, get it, get it out the mud. They'll say so. Um, you know, anytime he step on the field, I think he has that. 
where he got to prove himself. And uh, he's going to make plays no matter what because he, he's been that guy that had to sit behind guys and things like that. So and he embraces, uh, you know, just, just making plays on the field. But I think he's going to have a great career just because it's his mentality, you know, the way he comes to work. And, you know, he's been – I mean, his name is already in the history books. He had six picks last year. Right. And he got eight this year, nine this year. So – He's he keep that up. He'll have he'll be in the sixty club. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, you yeah. fifth right now among amongst active players. Could you name who in front of you? Uh I say Pat P, probably one of them. Yeah. Uh look, Ty, 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 Ty Matthews. Yeah. Yep. Look. It's all the old guys. <laughs> I know. Slay. Slay. No. Slay or not? No, nope. you, you got Slay. Uh, who was in the league? It's older. Only a couple. No more corners. Safeties. Harrison Smith. Yep. No. Yeah. Yeah. Harrison Smith. Who else? Another safety. Yep. And, and this one's going to lose you because you're not going to even be thinking about this dude because because he got a lot of them, but people don't know it. Ain't an older guy. I should know this, but we the last people standing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Pat trying to catch me, trying to catch my 37 before he go. I said, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, dang. I don't know this one. Tayshawn Gibson. For real? Yep, yep. Gibson got wow. 33. Wow. I got to no. get right. I got to I gotta end, end strong. <laughs> you got to finish strong. Come yeah. on, Gilly. Got to get a couple. I got to jump me an hour out. Right, right. Hey, like your boy. <laughs> yeah. That boy, the king of it right now. What what advice? You know what I mean? You Like you said, you're in year 12 and played a lot of good ball. You're a great dad. You're a great teammate. What advice would you give young Gilmore coming out of South Carolina, um, coming into the league? I just think um, just coming in the league, just to, uh, it's not always going to be great. It's not always going to be easy. Just work on something each day. Um, try to get better each day. And um, if you don't do so well, you know, learn from it. Put it behind you. If you do great, don't get the big head um, and put it behind you too. So, um, and always stay hungry. That's That's one thing that I tell my younger self. And I think you do that. You know, you set yourself up for success. And tell me how your kids doing. You know, every time I try to catch them on social media, <laughs> yeah. uh, they always look like they're eating. Yeah, they uh, <laughs> they good. You know, they in sports. My son, you know, he's uh, you know, for Christmas he he asked me to put give him some pads and the helmet, and he he wanted to start playing taco already. And I told him just relax a little bit. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> And my daughter, she's good. Uh, she's playing tennis. Uh, she's uh, enjoying Dallas, enjoying school. So my youngest, he's two years old. Story, he's uh, you know, being a two year old. And, right. right. Uh, they they great man. Just uh, just trying to you know be a great you know father's home and, and teach him the right way. Because uh, it's definitely easy growing up in this world today. So uh, just trying to teach him as much as I can. Well, you're doing a great job. Yeah, y'all setting down roots in Dallas. All I keep hearing is you saying positive stuff about Dallas now. Yeah. Nah, it's nice. It's nice. I, I mean, the sports here is crazy. The schools here, the the, the high schools here is the, like colleges. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's crazy, and uh, the weather is great. It don't get too cold, and like you say, it's in the middle of everywhere. You can get anywhere from Dallas, so it's definitely a place that I might you know make home home. So. Hey, I, that ain't a bad spot, man. and I don't think they're gonna let you go nowhere anytime soon. The way you plan, so. But I ain't gonna take no more, much more of your off day. If you got any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them, brother. But you got my number here anytime you need me. Appreciate you, bro. Nah, it's always good to. I see you on TV. I'm like, man, like you made me feel super old when I see you on <laughs> TV talk with <laughs> him and stuff. So, uh. Man, I'm like you doing your thing. You you been successful on the on the field. You was successful on the field, Hall of Famer. Uh, that. You know what I'm saying. So now you successful off the field. Good to see, man. So 
I'm trying my best, brother. I'm trying to hold it down. Hey, you keep holding it down. I'm living through you and Slay. I promise you. I'll be telling you, don't call them all. I ain't going to let you call them all when I'm on TV. These boys yeah. are strapping. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it, man. It's, uh, it's always good catching up with you, man, because like I say, man, you, you lose different, different uh, personalities a little bit, but, you know, we had, we had the same results. You yes, know, sir. They so. Except yeah, you got that D player of the year, baby. You got that on your mantle. <laughs> so uh yeah, so it's you got all pros, you know, Pro Bowls, you got the wrong. So Super Bowl should have had another one. But <laughs> ain't gonna talk about the one when Mahomes took us behind the woodshed in the last seven minutes. Goodness. Yeah. So but I appreciate for, you, brother. For sure, man. Nice seeing you, bro. Nice I seeing you too. Get give my love to the family. All right, you too. All right, bro.